In this video, we're going to solve this equation. Now, this is a really simple equation, but we're going to find all the solutions, so every single one. So let's go ahead and go through it. So solution. So we'll start by solving just for the cosine function. So to do that, we'll start by subtracting 1 from both sides. We're left with 2 cosine t, and that's equal to negative 1. Okay. The cosine is being multiplied by 2, so to get rid of it, we just divide. So divide by 2, divide by 2. So we have the cosine t equal to negative 1 half. And this is where most people um, get stuck. So there's all kinds of ways to proceed and all kinds of ways um, to memorize things. So first note that on the unit circle, Cosine is the x-coordinate, so if this is the unit circle, cosine is going to be over here. It's going to be uh, up here or down here, so quadrant 2 or quadrant 3. Okay, so that's super important to know. Also, um, the cosine of pi over 3 is equal to one half. So that's just from memory. So um, it, it's important to really memorize like the trig function values of like pi over three and pi over six, at least for sine and cosine, right? So like the sine of pi over three would be the square root of three over two. And so once you know this one, you know that the cosine of pi over three, it's the other one, it's one half. And then pi over four is easy. That's always square to two over two, depending on the quadrant, of course. And then the quadrantal ones like zero pi, pi over two, three pi over two, two pi, those are easy. No one ever has a hard time with those because you can just draw a picture. So pi over three and pi over six are really the tough ones. Okay, so we've established this, but we know that it's over here, right? So there's two possible angles. So the first possible angle uh, is gonna be this one here. And it's a multiple of pi over three, and it has a reference angle of pi over 3. So that means that this angle here, this is called the reference angle. It's the positive acute angle made with the terminal side of this, side, of this angle and the x-axis. That's, that's the definition of a reference angle. So that's pi over 3. And then this is pi, which is the same as 3 pi over 3, right? So basically, in my mind, I don't do all this. I just think, oh, okay, it's a multiple of pi over 3, and it's pi over 3 less, so it must be 2 pi over 3. That's, that's the jump I make. I don't go through the whole definition of reference angle. I just know uh, that it's 2 pi over 3 because it's pi over 3 less than 3 pi over 3. So that's the first answer, t equals 2 pi over 3. But the thing is, you know, you can make a full revolution um, this way or the other way and get back to the same angle. So you can add any multiple of, of 2 pi. So it's really plus 2k pi, where k is an integer. So where k is an integer. It could be 0, in which case we just get 2 pi over 3. It could be um, 1. It could be negative 1, etc. So hopefully you can still see that. And the other one, okay, the other one is going to be over here. And this one is pi over 3 more. So this one will be 4 pi over 3, right? Because it's pi over 3 plus 3 pi over 3, so 4 pi over 3. So here t would be 4 pi over 3 plus 2k pi, where k is an integer. So we have all of these answers. I can't even write an integer. <laughs> and writing is falling apart. So we get this and this as well. So infinitely many solutions, right? So really innocent looking problem, but like it requires a ton of knowledge. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.